In a bid to return out-of-school children to the four walls of schools, the Special Youth Leadership Foundation has put smiles on the faces of 5,000 children in five years. The foundation, initiated by Mr. And Danny and Sheyi Akinwale, was officially launched in Lagos. Our correspondent, Paul George, reports that the foundation hopes to reach 100,000 children in Niger and other African nations by 2030. It's an evening of joy and to reflect on the journey and project for the future on how to increase the number of beneficiaries of the Special Youth Leadership Foundation, an initiative founded by Mr. and Mrs. Dami and Shei Akinwale. Given awards, all all the volunteers are given awards at present. In the hall are predominantly young men and women in corporate organizations who are donors, parents, guidance of beneficiaries, the beneficiaries, friends, and families. The founder and his wife take the audience through journey. One of the things we do at the Special Youth Leadership Foundation is ensuring that our, the solutions that we provide to children are sustainable. We understand that it's counterproductive when you provide education opportunities to one child and you can't sustain that too. And so what we do is ensuring that whatever we do is sustained over the period. So we provide scholarship opportunities in throughout the primary and secondary school years of the child. We, out of our monthly earnings and the small business that we've started, have put together, um, we always set aside funds to try to be a solution to the problem we find in the continent of Africa. The Special Youth Leadership Foundation is a NGO that was, is registered uh, to ensure that we can provide our impact work in a very sustainable and, pra and, and pragmatic way that is also scalable to ensure that we can reach out to more children across the continent of Africa. The Special Youth Leadership Foundation started probably when my husband was in his teenage years. Um, he's always had the passion to send people who couldn't afford to go to school um, and fund their schooling really. The major reason for the, the backing of the education is that there are over 15 million children in Nigeria alone who are out of school and that's a big number. Um, if you think about the opportunities those kids are going to have, if they continue in the line they are in, it's not going to be a lot. A lot of them will end up becoming miscreants, criminals, um, not because you know, they don't have a choice. They really don't have a choice. That's what the country has had to offer them. And so the foundation is really to try and give them another alternative, a better opportunity, a better way of life if possible, and just give them a chance in life. Watching from the screen in the hall, President Olusegun Obasanjo advises the youth to make a positive difference. And what you are doing is you are making youth to become part of the solution of youth problem and national problem. Because youth unemployment, youth underemployment, youth uh, acquisition of education and skill are part of the problems of youth and part of the national problem in this country. Donors take to the podium to speak about the partnership. I'm happy to say to you today that in the last five years we've been able to send close to 5,000 kids to school, um, to school in one way or the other. But that's not phenomenal work when we put the context of what we have to do. We've set an achievable ambition for ourselves to get 100,000 kids in school by 2030. Sounds like a large number, but with the, with the resources that have been available to us in such a short time, we've seen what we've done with 5,000. I'll choose you one real quick. Would you like that? Thank you. We love it. The amazing chair, okay? The amazing chair. It's easy. It's this great. Amazing. Are you happy? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Simi Dele, Dei Baba, Jemima Ugaibe. Let's make their dreams come true. There is no pollution to our What's wrong with catching them young, molding and shaping them for where they belong, equipping them with the right resources so that they can become strong members of society? How exactly do we achieve this? If we are not challenged with today, if we ignore and throw away these gems we've been blessed with growing up, feeling cast away as they struggle to get by every other day. Who are we? Winding down as guests eat and drink is an emotional moment. Beneficiaries show appreciation for the support they have so far received. Since the time my dad died, it has not been easy. For I, my brother and my sisters. My dad died when I was five years old. When my mom came across Special Foundation, they helped her in lifting so many burdens from her. Special Foundation did not only help in my financial support, but they also fill in the gap. It's my pleasure for me to be here and to be part of the beneficiary of the, of the Special Youth Leadership Foundation. It has motivated me to always keep my grade up and to be high in my academic performance. Like, I feel like crying right now. Just. The high point of the event is the presentation of awards to volunteers, donors, corporate organizations, and ambassadors. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.